spread so readily. It's the easiest way. So this plant is a plant that's used for clearing heat and relieving toxins. And it's used for also um, dispersing swelling and uh, reducing abscesses. So it's used for like abscesses in the lungs. Uh, it can also be used for like bronchitis-like symptoms where there's yellow or green phlegm with some kind of a infection. Um, and um, it's also used for, as I said, toxic heat, which can include things like sores and ulcers and carbuncles, and it can be used externally and internally for that purpose. And it's also good too for um, treating what we call damp heat in the lower part of the body. And that involves problems like um, urinary infections, bladder infections, things of that nature where there is possibly signs of heat like burning urination, maybe darker scanty urine, maybe even blood. And it also can be used for um, like dysentery in the large intestine, uh, which is also considered a damp heat pattern in the lower part of the body. So, and it's used, uh, they use the, the upper part of, the, the whole above ground part of the plant, so the stem and the leaves, just dried. It's not processed in any special way. Okay.